So the subject is testosterone deficiencies in men over age 25. You can have deficiencies already very soon, very early. Even men can always have had testosterone deficiency since puberty. And I would even say they can have a deficiency also at age um, 10 or 15. You have those fat boys. Typically, they are slightly testosterone deficient already. So, what about these testosterone deficiencies in men over age 25? Testosterone, we know, has this molecular structure. It's based on the structure of cholesterol, which is actually a bigger molecule, and it's cut down to testosterone. So if you don't have enough cholesterol in your body, you won't have enough testosterone. And so decreasing too much uh, cholesterol levels is not necessarily healthy. So this is a hormone that makes a difference in men, and it has this molecular structure also in uh, three dimensions. It's not just a flat molecule. It's made here in the testicles, as we know. It's also slightly made in the adrenal glands, but most of the production is men, by far, is in the testicles. So men should be careful for their testicles. They shouldn't wear those very um, uh, short um, underwear that, that tightens the, against their body. Uh, the testicles because then the bloodstream doesn't go in the testicles sufficiently. And we see here there is some effects on brain that testosterone has. Actually testosterone makes a, a man much more determined. He knows what he wants and he'll know it clearly. He's been much more creative. He's very sexually oriented. He will want to dress nicely in a certain way because um, he wants to seduce other people. It's a, uh, a reproduction hormone, not for anything. And it's also a hormone that protects the heart. It's the hormone of the muscles, and the heart is a muscle. So it protects the heart by improving the muscle of the heart. It also increases the arteries. The arteries are tubes of muscles, actually, with a little endothelium within. And so it makes these arteries better, too. It also improves the, mu the muscles, as we know. Uh, you give a male structure, and the sexual organs are developed thanks to testosterone and its derivative dehydrotestosterone. And bone marrow, and it stimulates stem cells, the bones, it decreases bone density in kidneys, etc. So it's a very powerful hormone that makes a difference. And so when do we start to detect and to treat testosterone deficiencies. Actually, at age 25 and 30 years, there are, in many men, there already are deficiencies. You see, these are the peak levels of testosterone with age, at age 20 to 25, and then they decrease slowly. And there's probably a testosterone deficiency below this peak level we had as men between age 20 and 25. Because the body has had a certain volume, the muscles too. And if it doesn't have the adequate amounts, all these tissues can be sicker. So we start at age 25 to 30 years. In generally, to treat uh, optimally, if you want to make it super optimally a uh, treatment. So all these men, when you look at them, actually they're all testosterone deficient. Look, paleness a little more fattish, here uh, lack of muscles, you see it even in the, the face, also pale, the flat hair, very tip, flat hair, flat hair, flat hair, and flat hair. Even this one, he's pale and his eyes don't shine much. Maybe they are wor working in a too stressful job, you know, and then that consumes testosterone. But all these men are not as real men as they were before. So, from age 25 in many men...